And back again, WCCF Tech has this little uh, morsel. Uh, Asus is teasing the next gen X870E and the 8X70 non E motherboards for AMD Ryzen. Uh, is it gonna, we're going to get the ROG Crosshair, the ROG Strix Tough, Prime, and Pro Out series. Uh, Asus has teased its next gen X870E and X870 motherboards designed for the seven, uh, designed for the 9000 series. Uh, let's see, uh, it teased its new brand on uh, Twitter, claiming to improve the Zen 5 AM5 CPU performance through their optimized designs. While the availability and date and pricing are not revealed yet, of course. Uh, expect AS Asus to announce these details on the 20th of August, which is Monday, isn't it? Two days from now. This is the 18th as I'm, as I'm recording this. Uh, 8.30 in the morning, uh, Eastern Time. So, uh, yeah, that would probably put it Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Sorry, man, I, I work too much, and kind of the days kind of blend together. Uh, for the picture, five different uh, motherboards are visible. This is the picture that a uh, Asus has released. It shows uh, the Tough Gaming, the Crosshair Hero, and uh, what seems to be one from the ROG Strix series. On top, the motherboard's design looks familiar to the Budget Prime series, while the one at the bottom is surely from the Pro Art series, seen as obviously from the chipset uh, accents. Yeah, right here. So the five Asus series boards have existed for generations, but the introduction of the X870E and X870 chipsets, the motherboards would come with newer features uh, and better optimizations. Last month, Asus announced two new X870E Tough and ROG Maximus. Maximus motherboards, along with brand new features like heavy low dynamic CO stabilizer. My God, where do they come up with that? And all core safe CO S value to switch to. The the first one enables switching to PBO to OC from switching to PBO from overclock mode under very heavy loading, while the second one sends an appropriate fallback curve optimizer value in a very heavy loading. Uh, as a result, these new uh, Asus X70, X870, and X870E motherboards will be able to unlock more performance out of the 9000 CPUs compared to X670 and X670E chipsets. Now, currently, you can use a, you can just drop in a Ryzen 9000 CPU in your current X670 or uh, X670E or the B650 or B650E, which I've got in Edna. You can drop them right now into your motherboard with the latest BIOS. They'll fire right up and work without an issue. So uh, if you want to go that route, please do so. But if you want to hold off and wait for these new boards coming from Asus, there's the slide. It's been, uh, the article continues, it's been two months since ASRock showed its entire X870E and X7, X870 motherboard lineup at Computex. And uh, MSI was also uh, on hand. So uh, we don't have to wait too much longer, folks. Uh, if you like what you see, ring the bell and subscribe to Gonzo Media. We will see you in the next one.